Looking at me, I wonder who throws it They can't see the vision, boy, they must be out of focus That's a real hot album, homie, I wonder who wrote Hey guys, so basically, this is what Deku was the Winter Soldier, part one. So yeah, guys, so basically, um, after seeing, you know, Captain Falcon the Winter Soldier, you know, Disney, Disney Plus's series, I already, I always liked the character, um, Bucky, or, you know, Winter Soldier, but I never knew about him until, you know, Captain America and the Winter Soldier, or, you know, the first movie he was introduced in. So I never knew about him until that sick scene of him grabbing the shield. And they also went into that, spoilers, in episode 2 when he grabbed the shield as he threw, as, you know, one of them, or the shield, you know, was coming back to Captain, or the new Captain America, whatever his name. His comic book name is U.S. Soldier, or U.S. Captain, don't know. Uh, basically, Deku will be the Winter Soldier. Now, guys, I'm pretty sure that's the only spoilers I'm going to be saying right now. But Deku will finish. So basically, by the time part 6 or something, I may turn Deku into a hero. Or make Deku, you know, become better. But guys, you can decide if Deku should be this assassin or, you know, a, you know... Pretty much a sicko, or you know, just be like you know, Winter Soldier for the rest of the series, or should Deku become a hero later on, or you know, become better later on in an assassin. Now, basically, Deku in this universe is actually going to be a experiment or super soldier experiment. Now, about 50 years before Quark started to appear in the world, pretty much the government was trying to, well, basically genetically enhance humans to a point of superhuman, making super soldiers. Now, basically, Captain America exists in this world, but Deku's not going to be knowing Captain America. He's only going to be knowing, uh, let's say, Captain America's comrade. One of the guy, the redhead guy with the red beard with the hat. He was he worked for a shield or something, I don't know. Basically, Deku's going to know him, but Deku's also going to be enrolling into the army, means about 16, lying about his age, saying that he's 19. Basically, Deku, you know, pretty much signing up for the Enhancement Force, and also, sign and also you know, going out in the war right at the whole entire bus thing with, um, pretty much, you know, the, the, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. soldier. They go to the, you know, train, and pretty much Cap, you know, saves the day, but at the cost not being able to not bad not being fast enough to catch Deku. Deku falls down into the ground into the, you know the pretty much falls down into the snow or like the water and pretty much gets frozen and gets stuck on ice. And basically Deku is gonna learn, know a little bit of cat, but Deku's gonna hate that symbol because that's the last thing he sees before, you know, he thought he died. Basically, we skip about fifty years later and the first person with a cork appears. The same year Deku's supposed to be born, the same year the government, or Hydra, finds Deku's body. They find Deku's body, and pretty much program Deku. And Deku's also missing an arm, because when he got, because Deku was blown away by a grenade that he grabbed with his left, with his, um, uh, arm, and pretty much it blew up his arm all the way to the stub on his shoulder. Basically, they enhanced him to a point of superhuman level, and basically make, made him better made him stronger faster and also just a better um, almost unkillable to a point basically Deku's was given the same you know super soldier serum or you know the same super soldier enhancements that winter soldier got and also being brainwashed at the same time being programmed to be hero assassin being put on multiple tasks to kill other people in multiple people around the world. Basically, Deku will have memories of these events when he gets out of his brainwash and will see them all die in his hands. But for now, Deku's going to be a soldier to basically become, well, the Winter Soldier. 
So basically, Deku was going to have a Russian accent, but Deku's barely going to be able to barely going to speak because he's an assassin. And Deku also has no morals or no. Basically, Deku has no remorse for anybody that he kills on his job. Basically, becoming a true Winter Soldier. And basically, by the time Deku is out of the ice, it's about um, four. It's about a year after Cap gets out of the ice. And basically, I actually scratched that. It's about ten or five months until uh, you know Cap gets out of the ice. Basically, when I said by fifty years, I said. 500 years because the in this universe uh, let's say time slows back a little bit and basically Deku you know pretty much becomes a little bit more diverse or something. yeah basically the word of the winter soldier pretty much is thrown around pretty fast and everybody you know knows by the winter soldier at this point everybody knows by the winter soldier at this point and basically Deku goes pretty much to well sorry guys basically Deku goes back to um basically well his base or whatever it is every night after he you know makes a basically a sex a successful kill a successful kill and you know assassination basically Deku's going to have all the abilities and pretty much combat um experience that Bucky has yes, because Deku was also training combat experience when he was in the army. And basically, uh, or the Air Force, or the Navy, I think it was, yeah. So basically, Deku will have increased strength, stamina, speed, agility, reaction time, and also his iconic middle arm. And Deku's arm will also be incredibly strong. While the same strength in the comments plus the strength in the strength that showed in the movies, and basically stuff like that. So basically, Deku will be able to do all the things that Winter Soldier did, and just a little bit more. Now basically, Deku will be just like the Winter Soldier. Deku will be going on the missions, and all they see is a man with a middle arm, or people that did get away. That that barely happened, because most of the time, when Winter Soldier killed everybody. Winter Soldier even mostly killed children that were able... Or children that were old enough to tell the police what they saw, so he killed them, so he wouldn't have any, you know, well, witnesses. Basically, he didn't have no discrimination. He killed what he was supposed to be. He was told absolutely no, and I mean no casual, absolutely no witnesses that were able to tell the police what, you, what they saw. Babies were clear because they couldn't remember. So basically, Winter Soldier went on one mission particularly and he ran into cap he went on one mission taking down a very powerful crime boss that was messing with the hydra for a little bit he went down there and pretty much killed a bunch of their guards running in there kicking them down into walls deku sinking into the main ballroom seeing them scared out of their pants pretty much pretty, pretty much being doing a box circle around the boss pretty much having their guns in all directions Trying to keep Deku by far. Deku using a smoke bomb or you know a gas bomb, pretty much you know takes them off guard and pretty much kills them all, throwing them into walls, breaking their necks, snapping their necks, and putting his arm through their skulls. So like that, basically with his middle arm. Basically Deku walking towards the bo crime boss, grabbing by the arm with his you know normal arm, but he's still a super soldier arm. Pretty much throwing him through the two-story building he was in. Falling down to the ground and pretty much breaking his neck. Deku, you know, successfully doing his mission, gets out of there as fast as possible, making sure no one saw him. And eventually, when Deku's about to leave, he sees a Captain America shirt or some sort of sight. He he hears the iconic ring when Captain America's shield goes flying past the air. Deku dodges it, grabbing it while it's in the air with his middle arm, saying, or muttering to himself. Pretty much looking behind himself, seeing that Captain America's there. Captain pretty much runs straight towards Deku, and Deku dodges, you know, Cap's move. Now, basically, Deku still has green hair, if you're wondering that. Deku starts, you know, dodging his attacks, and Cap and pretty much Deku throws his shield in the air, and pretty much starts punching him left and right, pretty much giving Cap a run for his money. Cap doing back-to-back -back fights, and pretty much Azala and a couple other street heroes seeing them, 
going, you know, duking him out. That's what seeing that he's kind of cornered. Pretty much, says, I'm not going to go down. And pretty much thinking that he's not going to go down without a fight. Pretty much getting ordered by the Hydra, from Hydra to kill them all. All of them. Pretty much that could grab him Cap's head and slamming it into the calm creek thinking that he's dead. What running towards Azawa. Azawa trying to use his quirk on Deku. But, you know, Deku's a super soldier. It's not a quirk. Pretty much running towards Deku. Running towards Azawa, drop kicking him into the calm creek, breaking a few ribs. Pretty much Azawa for a for a quick minute, Azawa's heart stops working and Deku thinks he's dead. But, but being safe takes out a gun about to shoot, you know, Azawa's brains out. Basically being stopped by Hawks, Hawks throwing a couple of your feathers and pushing Deku back into a pup, couple of bars. Deku getting back up, taking out his gun, shooting wings, as, um, shooting Hawks' wings, and Hawks falling down to the ground, pretty much taking out more of his feathers, pretty much shouting them towards Deku. Deku dodging most of them, pretty much uses his middle arm to grab a car or like the front of a car and throw it towards Hawks. Now, basically, I said Deku has the same durability, but Deku's arm is like about freaking OP levels of strength. I mean, like he can punch through a, he can punch through basically, he can basically in theory, if Deku pushes himself to the farthest levels, Deku could make a slight dent into the Captain America shield if he's tried hard enough with his middle arm. So basically, is in his Deku can pick up a car with his middle arm or you know slide it towards somebody. Basically stuff like that. Because like he did kick up a car like with ease in the Witcher Soldier movie. Basically throwing the car towards well, Hawks. Hawks dodging it and basically getting hit with a mean right hook from the captain from the Winter Soldier fist, knocking him out cold. Seeing that more police and more heroes are showing up, seeing that All Might shows up. The Hydra says to get out there as fast as possible and pretty much throws a smoke bomb before anybody can see Deku's Deku. But they Deku leaves about a strand of hair behind and pretty much runs off. Cap gets back up, pretty much coughing blood and saying, I remember those moves. It, c it can't be. Now, basically, Deku, you know, basically, oh, sorry, guys. Basically, Deku going, you know, back to Hydra's base. And Hydra pretty much saying you have to try harder and you have to make sure no one sees you. You've been great so far. You've been a true asset to our cause. But you need to become more stronger and more ruthless. You need to kill them all. And pretty much Deku, those people pretty much they hear about the whole entire UN thing and say, hmm, well, they didn't see him, well, hmm. And basically, they take a little bit of, you know, paint remover and all sorts of stuff and moves the red star on Deku's arm and camouflages his arm to look like flesh. Basically, making Deku look a little bit better and dyeing Deku's hair brown and pretty much giving Deku blue eye contacts and making Deku, making sure Deku can't be recognized through his outfit. And basically, Deku having brown hair, a flesh um, covered arm with the Winter Soldier arm, and basically, you know, being a little bit better. Now, basically, Deku, you know, walks up in there and basically walks into the whole entire you know, situation with the um winter soldier basically deku will uh, pretty much walk into ua and deku will be also giving deku originally to have long green hair like bucky's haircut but just green hair but now deku has you know basically now deku has his original haircut his canon haircut but it's just brown now deku has blue eye contact so deku has blue eyes now and Neku also has his arm camouflaged or hologram based to look, you know, like a flesh arm or like a normal arm. So basically, Deku, you know, being such, you know, real advanced and changed to a point to look, you know, normal. Basically, Deku getting orders to basically, um, sorry guys, Deku getting orders to infiltrate UA and take out everybody that was there when he's when they saw him pretty much taking out cap all might certain other heroes like hawks and azawa and the other three heroes didn't really see Deku that well because Deku did lose he did take him out a lot more faster than the other people making sure they couldn't see him or remember him knocking their lights out pretty much making sure deku 
was never remembered by them. So only heroes that all that really recognized and saw Deku in his outfit were Captain America, um, All Might, Azawa, and Hulks. He has to take them out, and then his mission is complete. Basically, Deku walks into Class 1A and walks in there sitting down. Pretty much as I walk in the class, Deku being, getting, you know, up, pretty much pretty much crushing the desk and saying, and murmuring to himself, it's him. Pretty much now, De Deku doesn't have his mask on because, you know, he doesn't want to look like so much a soldier. Pretty much looking at Cap and Cap looking at Deku. I mean, um, as I looking at Deku and as Deku, you know, sits back down and his chair and says, sorry, sir. And pretty much, you know, trying to, you know, act like a normal 16-year-old boy. Deku is still technically, physically 16. But in real life terms, Deku's about well, 102. Basically, Deku, basically, you know, gets off the group. And pretty much, you know, goes down and... Uh, uh, sorry, guys. Basically, Deku just, you know, waits there and pretty much say, you know, start talking about the whole entire thing. With, um, what should I call it? Deku starts talking about the whole entire thing, and pretty much everybody starts, you know, flirting with Deku, thinking Deku's pretty, you know, well, cute. Deku flaring back with them a little bit, and pretty much, you know, getting to know everybody, making sure their weaknesses, so if you ever have to go against them, you can take them out pretty quickly. But basically, Deku goes back. Deku goes, um, in the back of the class, pretty much, you know, Getting his stuff prepared because Azawa tells him to get outside and put their sports costume, the sports suits on, and then get ready for the quirk assessments. Deku puts his sports outfits on, and pretty much the girls look at Deku saying that he's pretty, he's pretty cool because you know Deku has the same body that he has in canon, but also a little bit more perfected. Now basically, Deku you know gets ready and pretty much they're told Deku told to throw the ball first. Deku throws the ball with his middle arm. Throwing it incredibly far, almost at an atmosphere, passing the clouds as well. Basically, Deku saying, it's not good enough. And as I was saying, don't give me smart talk. And pretty much, uh, don't give me back talk. Pretty much getting, you know, pretty angry to Deku. Basically, Ozawa pretty much tells everybody, you know, other assignments, blah, blah, blah. Deku jumps over the um, sand pit with ease. Deku aces pretty much all of the, you know, assignments. Or, you know, the test, and basically, you know, gets a 100, gets first place. Pretty much, Deku, Bakugo bumps into Deku, and Deku looks at, you know, Bakugo saying, get off of me. Bakugo saying, what are you gonna do, nerd? Deku grabbing Bakugo's throat, saying, I'm gonna do a lot more, I'm gonna do a lot more than just beat you up. And pretty much about to, you know, break Bakugo's neck. When Azawa tries to use his quirk on Deku, Deku knows in this and acting like, you know, his quirk is gone. Bakugo throws an explosion at Deku, and Deku takes out the champ, and pretty much punches Bakugo in the gut with his middle arm, not, you know, showing that he has a quirk at all, just, you know, using his middle arm, punching him, punching Bakugo in the gut, making Bakugo come with blood, and fall to the ground. Pretty much Deku murdering to himself, pathetic worm. And pretty much, you know, uh, Azawa um, threatens to expel Deku if he ever does that again, and Deku says he's the one that started it, and pretty much Azawa says I'm not taking that. And pretty much, you know, starts, you know, scolding Deku. And eventually, you know, it's the end of the, it's the end of the school day. They get handed their syllabus and they get told to go back home. Deku, you know, sneaks out of the premises and pretty much gets ready for his first, you know, attack to pretty much, well, um, oh, sorry, does his first attack towards towards Zawa. Deku takes out his sniper and gets a clear shot on Zawa while Zawa's in class, you know, pretty much peppering everything to get, you know, to leave. And they get his hero cost, his get his hero thing on for the night time. Pretty much having a gun right on, right focus on Zawa's head and shooting the gun at Zawa. Zawa's fast enough to dodge a bullet, seemingly, and looks up, seeing Deku and seeing the silver arm shining in the mist. Seeing it's you again. Pretty much Deku throwing the, throwing the sniper on the floor. Pretty much, you know, crut, pretty much, you know, well, setting a bomb on it. Pretty much, Azawa follows Deku on top of the roof, and Azawa, you know, steps on the top of the gun, and it blows up, shooting Azawa off of the roof. Azawa catches himself by a scarf and swings up on top of the roof right in front of Deku. Deku looks at him and saying, you're going down. 
in, you know, his distorted voice, because in this universe, Deku has, you know, Deku's mask distorts his voice to a certain point where no one can, you know, trace it back to his civilian, you know, recognize, his, his civilian, um, clothes, or civilian, you know, personality. Now, basically, Deku looks at Zawa, and now Deku did get the brown, you know, uh, the brown dye out of his hair, looking like he did when he first went up against Zawa, pretty much, you know, trying to get as far away from Deku's appearance so no one can trace him back to him. Deku walks towards, or sprints right towards Azawa, and Azawa dodges the attack, but Deku grabs Azawa's nick with his middle arm and throws him into the ground, pretty much pummeling with his middle arm and his normal arm, left and right, left and right, left and right, and pretty much, you know, making Azawa cough up, you know, gallons of blood, and about to, you know, pretty much end Azawa's life, grabbing him with his, you know, normal arm, you know, pretty much pinning his nick down, and about to, you know, just smash his brains in with his middle arm, reeling up a fist, but before you can do that, a shield pops up behind Deku and shoots him into the back of the head, almost knocking out Deku. Deku fakes like Deku fakes like he's knocked out, and pretty much are about to grab Deku, but Deku gets back on his feet, grabbing Azawa's head and throwing him off the roof, and kicking a uh, cap in the chest, grabbing his forehead, and throwing him off the roof as well. Grabbing the shield, about to run off, but the shield pretty much gets out of Deku's hands, you know, appearing back into you know Cap's hands using the magnet thing that Tony did. Pretty much Deku looks up and seeing that Tony Stark's there. Now the Avengers exist in this world too. Basically Tony Stark says, So you're the assassin that you're that you're the assassin that Cap is so afraid of. Deku takes out a gun or you know a little gun and pretty much shoots it at um pretty much Stark's um repulsor beam or you know arc reactor. He he says, Is that all you got? And pretty much, you know, Bucky or Deku smirks under the mask, and that bullet, or more or less that tracker, was an electric disabling device. And don't get your mind, as all I mean, sorry guys, I mean, Jesus, I mean Iron Man. Sorry guys, Iron Man. I forgot his name. I straight up, I don't know what. I forgot his. I I straight up forgot his complete name. So yeah, so basically he falls into the ground with no, you know, technology to fly himself up. He falls into the ground, getting saved by the armor's durability, but also breaking a few bones. Deku getting out of there, pretty much, you know, getting out there as fast as possible, leaving no trace. Now basically, they do, they do do a DNA sample with Deku's hair, pretty much trying to figure it out and place it back to, you know, anybody. But the only thing they get is a dead person that died about 500, 500 years ago during the World War, during World War Two. Basically, Deku's and basically the doctors and the heroes are confused and from saying, and De Baku and Cap saying, "I know that man. I had suspicious, but I guess he's back." Basically, we're gonna end it off here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and part two will be a little bit more, you know better i won't be forgetting names so yeah so see you guys later bye deuces and have a blessed day